All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the loading screen here. This is the Dominion Dominion.com League of Legends Dominion Tournament number 40. It's been 40 weeks of Dominion. That's pretty awesome. This game, we are going to have League of Newbies versus Dominionation. Uh, on the top half of the map, we're going to have League of Newbies. We're going to have Cairo XT291 as Lee Sin, Feed Me Dogs as Ramus, Major Ursa as Brand, Call Me Taste as Amumu, and Golly playing as Teemo. I'm one half of your casters this week. I am Gandare, and casting with me is... Skill Factory. And on the other team, we have Karthus on Duranthor. Uh, Malphite being played by Pilates Expert 1. Um, Krillian is going to be on Urgot. Augmented Singe is going to be playing by Violated Muffins. And Shen is going to be played by Bandit Bill. And it looks like we should be loading in any second. I don't know some reason it was a little low. There he goes. I'm in now. Excellent. And I'll even switch over to the, the kill death and assists um, yeah. so that I can monitor this as well right at the beginning because I know people are like, kills, deaths, assists, we want to see that. Yeah, I killed a, you know, KDA. It was, it was a weird thing for me to learn when I first started playing because I was used to KDR, which was your kills to deaths ratio because there weren't assists in FPS games. Welcome to the so right. it was... You know, what's what's your KDR? You know, how many kills are you gonna get per life, or you know, whichever. So I'd always type it wrong and have to explain myself. But I've gotten over that phase of gaming. I actually don't know who's gonna go bottom lane for League of Newbies yet. They're not really telegraphing who it is. I imagine it'll be Brand or Timo would... or Lee, maybe. I have no... now now they're all going bot. I don't understand the world anymore. <laughs> it. It could be, very well could be, um, a Lee Sin or a Bran. I mean, any any one of the three or the Teemo could all go bottom um, and do well in the matchup down there. It does look like the Singed on Violet Muffins is, is hugging that bottom side and getting ready as soon as he's unlocked to get down that ramp. And now Teemo on Golly will definitely be going bottom. And um, we'll have the 4v4 up top. Feed me dogs powerballing right out of there and going to cap the closest point and get that in their favor much quicker than the other team. I've always thought you want to have your fastest or second fastest person capture the middle point because your slower people, you don't want to take them off the walk to the top. So, Carthus got his defile on early there. Not sure how I feel about that. So the wall goes down right there, tags a couple of people. And uh, I don't know if you noticed he hit that key or not. Kind of bleeding mana a little bit there. It's going to be unfortunate, but at the same time, it's sort of... Oh, he's got the clarity, that's why. It makes people a little reluctant to dive in. Yeah, it's very interesting to see him just run that and then go clarity right off the bat and not wait for any of the poke coming out of Urgot, who was very man intensive as well. Sort of flame coming down, and Mumu getting in a little bit too close, getting the taunt off. Call me Taste can be the first one to go down here, trading with the Karthus, who's still alive, doing tons of damage onto all of them. Feed me Dogs is going to be in trouble here. The Revive's coming out. Hum, the blue team. Major USA going to be the next one to die. Feed Me Dog's probably going to get out of here. I'll have another Powerball ready any second here. It is back up. Shen trying to close the gap with a taunt, but nobody going to cap the tower right now. They're just going to grab the health relics, and Amumu's coming back up, and Lee Sin after the revives. On to Bandit Bill. A good resonating strike on a Bandit Bill. Probably going to pick up this kill here, but it is still a 4v3. Bandit Bill just kiting away. Call me Taste with another bandage toss in one second. He's going to get taunted back. Karth is still laying tons of damage down on him. It might have been a very good pick to cap this top half. And Major USA going 1v1 with Bandit Bill, but they're going to be trading the Karthus and Shen for a Lee Sin. And they also have the revives up on their team. We'll see if they pop them for this or if they save them for a little bit later date because Killian has plenty of HP to defend this right now. Major Ursa's got a bunch of mana, and Krillian really doesn't have very much at all, so he's just going to try and keep the point neutral, or, you know, maybe just go ahead and go back. He's going to pick up that health relic, get his cycle around back up the top, but I think by taking the time to go down there, he's not going to be able to stop it. No, he is not. Call me Taste getting a little bit low, goes for the banish toss, but Shen's right there, goes in with the taunt. Nice airborne, nice pyroclasm. Combination coming out right there, so that taunt locking Shen down, letting Brand get that extra damage in, so the card this whole... Uh, come into the equation. Picks up the kill on Amumu, who was trying to get back, but Karthus has got that under control. Now, Plies Expert and Feed Me Dogs are having a disagreement of sorts over there by the Health Relic. 
though Million and Tarantula are back in the fight now. Wall goes down. He's got that slow. Kyro can't get away very easily. He's too far away to safeguard Dursa. Yeah, that Dragon Kick really didn't do much but delay the inevitable. And now you actually see the revives coming out from the red team. They save them for the second engage. And the ultimate swap coming down on Major USA. For sure going to die here. Uh, 3v1, not going to help them. They're going to take this point right back because they didn't have to waste their revives earlier to cap the point, and they used them instead to recap the point after they just lost a few points. Shen hanging around in the middle of the map right there, and I think that's a good place for a Shen to be. He's a really durable champion. He's got a built-in shield, and he's got a taunt, so just when you were going to enter that bush, Shen comes right out of it and can taunt you and really ruin your day. You see, uh, Lady Newbie's on the left kind of aware of what might be going on, and they tag Urgot so they can see him and they see Shen as well. They think twice about starting that fight. They kind of back off just a little bit. Seeing Colony Taste right there with that Storm Shield. And the buff is just kind of ticking down the longer that he waits. We have that Storm Shield. You kind of want to jump on and make use of it where you can. Urgot's going to tag a little bit of damage on Brand right there. And Malphite sees uh, the enemy goes for him there. Colony Taste is a great position. Wants to throw down the ultimate. That's what I'm talking about. Keep everyone back away from Brand. Brand fires off the Pyroclasm. Gets good bounces on hit. And gets very low on hit points. Bandit Bill, his hit points just drop like a rock from a space shuttle. And Phoebe Dog's kind of hanging back because his HP is low. Now, Krillin's got to defend this point, but Ursa's got a lot of mana. Call Me Taste's got enough to get the stun going if he wants to. And that minion wave is going to get pushed up on this tower and going to help him a lot. Neutral, yet there's the stun from Brand. There's the bandage toss. Not led uh, terribly well, but it looks like it might be okay. Ursa's kind of zoning back. Gets him taken care of right there with the Seer. And he throws down the defense of Garrison at the last second, but there's just two many minions. No, those minions are going to cap that point much faster than even multiple champions would right now. And uh, a good play from both sides coming out there, but that Amumu was sitting there ready, just ready to lock everybody down. The Power Plasm, as you said, the Amumu called up and ultimate came down, and the Power Plasm came and did good damage. Right now, Shen working towards an Aegis, it looks like, and Heavy Armor but no real MR coming out from either side right now. Everybody's going with the armor early. There are a pair of Nerk Treads. Um, there's a big fight, a little bit of fight going down bottom and top at the same time. Singe is doing his little trolling thing, but goes into a mushroom. He's going to fall down as they fight back up top. Uh, Major Ursa is going to be a little bit of trouble. Bandit Bill, ooh, a great dragon kick by Cairo, knocking both people up, giving them plenty of time. The bandage cost missing once again, but they're going to be able to save this point, and they might... Oh, Urgot down bottom with the hyperkinetic position reverser, trying to get that Teemo. There it is. One more, and he was done. And it just looks like they're going to try to push the minions back up top as they go back and get healthy on Brand, who is going to go for a Haunting Guys and Phoenix Codex right, first, right away. I'm Definitely going for that burn as well. I'm quite surprised how League of Newbies was able to manage that fight up top with Ramus being down there in the bottom lane. Ramus went down there to gank on Singed and kept two people down there for quite a while, but they were still able to take care of the fight up at the top, and uh, Urgot getting a good pick-off by on Teemo there at the end. As soon as you get kind of up close to that tower, but Teemo will be there in time to defend it, so it doesn't seem too, too terrible. Now we see Shen and Urgot and crew in the middle of the map, and look, where are they going to go? It looks like they are heading down south to take care of Teemo. Clearly the bushes by himself, kind of acting as a scout right there. So we'll see if anything comes out of that. The wall went down, but it did miss on that wall of pain for the slow. It looks like Malphite and Urgot might be able to catch Lee Sin up here. He's going to try to safeguard the minions. No, he safeguards himself. He's going to Sonic Wave, Resident Strike back to the minions, but he's definitely going to go down here. I don't think that the uh, the save is going to be enough from the Ramus, who's also going to be in trouble. Um, Cairo is away right now. He does tag Malphite one more time. He's not going to go in on that as they try to cap the windmill up top. Meanwhile, down bottom, Karthus going down, laying down the ultimate, trying to get some extra damage in to finish off that Ramus up top as Brand tries to come up and reinforce. Bandit Bill going down to Teemo down bottom. Call me Taste, Miss, another bandage toss, and Violet Muffin says, ah ha ha, I'm singed. Come chase me through the poisons, I'm not worried about it one bit. <laughs> another swap coming up top. Major Ursa is going to go down right here. The Power Clasm coming out. Might he'll take the bolt down in trade for his health and defending that turret. But the minions are going to come out here. If Amumu can't come up here to stop them, he might be able to neutralize that at least for a second until Amumu can come help. Rocks fall. Everybody dies up at the top end of the map. Point does get neutral. Minions not to be underrated when they're trying to cap that tower. So they're going to get that neutral. But I think Amumu will be just fine. He's got his allies on his way back up there. And Shen are 
Shen's not the fastest champion in the game. He is going to get there. Duranthor's going to throw down the wall, but now that wall's on cooldown, hasn't really connected with anyone yet. Who's going to walk through it anyway? He doesn't really care. Ram is going to get a little bit of poke there, and as long as Karthus got that defile up, I just, I don't feel good about diving in on him unless you're going to burst him and retreat out, but with Shen right there to taunt you and keep you in the range of it, it can be very devastating, and now Kami takes the bandage toss right in there, got black AoE damage on all those targets, throws down the ultimate there, sets up uh, for Brand, who didn't have his pyroclasm yet though, and I think that would have been a game changer in that fight had he had it available. Yeah, it looks like they're going to have to try to retreat and use the turret to maybe give them a little bit of help and damage here. But it's going to be neutralized by Krillian while the taunt comes out from Shen. Major Earth's in a lot of trouble here. He does stop Krillian from capping it, but Phoebe Dog's going to die, and now it's going to be four people capping this turret back for the red team. And meanwhile down bottom, Singe forcing Teemo back as he just pushes as hard as he can over and over and over again. You can see pretty much everybody up top except for Krillian going back to get healthy for the next little skirmish. Um, and Singed actually doing a pretty good job. If you can push Teemo out of lane and get your minions to put a little damage on that tower, um, you're definitely doing your job in the 1v1. Yeah, Dolly's got those mushrooms down there to help him manage those creeps a little bit too. Get that long distance farm, as I've heard some people refer to it before. It's a pretty good thing to have. So it's like Singed going up, continue that speed shrine, go back down the bottom lane afterward. Middle of the map here, we got League of Newbies up in the bushes, and on the opposite side, we have Dominion Nation there as well. Lee Sin sticking his head out, takes it slow for his troubles. The Rampler gets taunted, and Karthus is not terribly durable, ladies and gentlemen. He gets taken down quickly and moves straight out of the defile, completely negate that damage. Now they're chasing Malphite over to this point here. We got Karthus popping the revive. Uh, Urga has recall and is on his way to the drill now. Brand splitting off from the engagement to go up and begin capturing the windmill, and since Urgot has recalled, it means there's not going to be anyone up there to contest that there, so he's going to get that neutral, and maybe the full cap off before this fight uh, swings its way back that direction. Now, they were able to kill a Mumu, and they're moving up to the top to respond to Brand, but they're not moving down to the bottom, where they have managed to kill Golly, but the defensive garrison's there, Phoebe Dogs is Ramus there, safeguard in, Lee Sin gets into that fight as well to keep them back away from it, and they're going to defend that point, but I don't know if they're going to be able to hold top while all this is going on. No, it does look like a 3v1 up top. Major Ursa in a lot of trouble. One more. He does get the stun on to Durathor, and Karthus is going to stand there. Hit R. He's going to pick up a double kill, actually getting the kill on to Ramus as well. And they're going to recap the windmill for their favor. Another 3-2 to two cap. Pretty much trading the windmill back and forth. A lot of action going on up top. They keep swinging down bottom, but nobody able to swap those turrets over down bottom. Um, the Boneyard hasn't been touched uh, for the red side either, and that is the quest right now, which gives you that 10% damage buff, which can help you swing the rest of the game if you were able to focus that down. Now, I like this right here. Major Ursa zoning Krillian away from that tower, so Krillian can't close the distance to interrupt the Mumu. The Mumu, nope, Garrison! That's what he's got to say about that. The Columbia Tastes going to go for the banish toss. He has angered the mummy. Bandit Builder coming for back. He knows who the damage dealer is. Goes straight in for Major Ursa. Follows up with one ult after another. Locking down Brand. Making sure that he can't fire off that damage that he's so good at doing. Cairo's going to safeguard out to a minion. And the fight just moving towards the refinery now. Uh, blue team getting pushed back. League of Newbies having to fall back to that point. After Brand getting sort of caught by Shen there. And the Malphite ult. And the Urgot ult. But this means that once Brand comes back, there's going to be a lot of ults that are not available on the enemy team, which is going to make it a little bit easier for them if they get involved into a team fight. Now down here, you see Malphite forcing Teemo to go back to the tower to have to defend it. He kind of sends through that mush mushroom. Good job right there, but a lot of damage uh, that those two champions can deal. And Amumu only able to tag Malphite, unfortunately. He doesn't get singed at all, so Singed is able to get back away. Teemo runs away right in the cart. This Call Me Taste is going to try and delay on this point. And this point is important because it is the quest objective, which will do an instant 20 Nexus health worth of damage to the enemy team and give them a 10% damage buff. Meanwhile, Pop Shen, Bandit Bill trying to ult himself down bottom to help out and defend that quest. Golly doing a little bit of kiting now on Valiant Mushrooms. But up top, they did lose the fight, leaving three people up to cap that windmill. Uh, Violated Mushrooms probably going to go down here to Call Me Taste and Golly, and they will be able to defend and recap this point, which was neutralized during that fight. But the quest's still up, so it was worthwhile. Phoebe Dog's trying to run a little bit of distraction, but it's going to be in a lot of trouble now that Malphite and Urgot are both back, and he's not going to be able to make it out of here running directly into minions, and he's going to go down pretty easily. The Teemo Revive definitely saved that bottom turret, because he did come back to help them 
help his minions neutralize it. And uh, now that they're back on top, they do have the three to two cap, but a very close game right now. And the game, this whole game long, has just been flipping flopping of the top point with some bottom pressure. But I think that Dominion has had better control of the bottom lane. They've gotten a couple neutrals off down there where Timo hasn't gotten any. And Call Me Taste getting caught out. I don't think I like it very much. The bandage toss through Malphite to try and escape right there. A good pyroclasm hits everybody on the enemy team, but they're just standing in the defile and you don't want to be there. No, that uh, that unstoppable force by Malphite hit everybody in that engagement. And whether or not you kill Karthus or not, he's still just dropping lay waste and doing tons of AOE damage to them. And like I said before, mostly armor coming out. We have the Warden's Mail, the Thorn Mail, the Sunfire Cape, but there's no MR. So that Karthus, even if you kill him, he's doing a lot of damage. Way more than the, the Shenwood or the Malphite, who are the primary... I mean, Urgot, er excuse me, are the primary attack damage dealers. And um, the Karthus and the Brand kind of playing the, the, the most damage up top. And whoever has their AP carry alive longer seems like they're going to be winning that engagement. Dolly is really good at running away. He's just kited singed all over the map down here in the bottom lane. Bought time for his teammates to get down here. And now I'm a little bit scared for Violated Muffins. BB Dog is going around to the bushes, but nope. Accidentally bops a minion instead. So since able to get some more distance, but Dolly is pursuing him. Still, got Carthus down there as well, but in the upper part of the map, Call Me Taste has been caught by the dynamic tank duo up here of Shen and Malphite, but Brand's able to kind of hang back. Oh, he got exhausted right as the Pyroclasm went out, though. Yes, oh, and the Mumu does drop. Curse of the Sad Mummy stunning them. Feed Me Dogs is down here. He's going to get swapped by Krillian. Tremor's coming out. Big damage coming out of Malphite. Rhyme's going to pick up that kill. A taunt on to Krillian. Brand's going to be able to pick this up. Good stun after the taunt wore off. Um, meanwhile, down bottom, Karthus not dying to the Lee Sin. They had a 1v1 fight. Shen trying to defend this point. He's probably going to go down as soon as he gets one more taunt off. And there it is, the 1v1 going to go to Ramus, who's rocking a monster 448 armor with that defensive ball curl up. If you hit him, you actually get tougher. That's how much armor he's got. And I expect he's going to get that Randoin's Omen next. And he's just loading up on it because he knows that the only big damage dealer on their team for AP is Karthus because Singe is on the opposite side of the map. So they don't have to worry about counterbuilding him uh, against him too much. And Karthus is very good at taking damage. Look at his items right there. He really doesn't have any durability at all. So if they can get Karthus killed and get out of that defile, they stand an extremely good chance of winning fights. But Malphite's been doing a good job all game long of keeping them in there. And there's that unstoppable force once again, keeping someone in that defile for extra time. But Brand kiting him away, so he's not going to be getting that damage on a Mumu, although it looks like Krillian and Pauly's Expert had that under control. Shen down there kind of running interference on anyone that would try to get that tower. In the bottom lane, though, things are a little bit different. Golly and Cairo XT are down there, keeping Singed away from the point. Singed, singed now, later on in the game, seems to be having trouble against Teemo, whereas before he was keeping him pushed up against his tower. And with that being captured right there, it gives the blue team the 10% damage bonus that they can definitely use going on to their next play. Yeah, the, the Blackfire Torch Rileys is pretty much trying to go for an anti-Singe build where he'll have that consistent burn the whole time and then also that slow to be able to keep the damage on Singe and not let him increase the gap and hope that he runs into a mushroom. Karthus is going to come down here. Karthus Shen and uh, Singe going for the 3v2. Um, it looks like Lee Sin might be in a lot of trouble. He does hit the mushroom on Bandit Bill. They're not going to be able to get him. Another wall should come out in about another second or so. See if he lands it and gets some extra damage, but he does not. Duranthor actually turns around. Meanwhile, up top, Duranthor is going to pop out the ultimate to hopefully help his friendly Malphite up top, but Feed Me Dog's going to take him down. Call Me Taste and him are going to cap the windmill for them as they push down bottom. Karthus going down along with the Malphite top lane and Teemo dying to Bandit Bill. Lee Sin with barely any HP. See if he goes in to try to stop this cap. He does land Resonating Strike. He is going to come in on it with the exhaust. Bandit Bill might be in a little bit of trouble here. A good taunt coming out. Another shield. And he will die, though. Lots of damage coming off that Lee Sin and a toss from Violated Mushrooms just to finish him off. Utilizing the tower's damage right there to help him finish off Shen. Although, unfortunately for him, Singe had a different idea of how that fight was going to play out and gave Lee Sin a free trip back to the summer platform. In the middle of the map, Call Me Taste is going to be discovered by Krillian, 
It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Call me Tate's got to re re retreat to this tower up here, but Malphite, I don't think he's going to be too afraid to dive that if he needs to, especially with Urgot back there to throw down the DPS. He's got a hunter right there, getting one right after another. Call me Tate's trying to alternate back and forth between the targets to interrupt both of them, but he just can't stand up to that many people. Yeah, and I don't think Brand and the Ramus are going to engage, even though he was powerballed. They do not want to fight that 2v4. They're going to wait for a little bit of reinforcement, possibly from Lee Sin, and maybe even wait until Amumu comes back up. But the crazy part about Ramus is when you stack armor, you're also getting AD. 213 AD just from his armor right now. And uh, Cryo is going to be caught out by Bandit Bill and Krillian. He's using that Dragon Kit to get him away, coming back in on Bandit Bill, knowing that they don't have enough damage. Power Clasm coming out, going to get a couple good bounces here. Brilliant though, very tanky right now, along with Bandit Bill. And there comes Karthus, looking to just suicide in, do a lot more damage, and see if he can turn this fight around. But the Malphite ultimate didn't come in in time to land on top of the Karthus. The Curse of Sad Mummy come out, Krillin taking extra damage, Bandit Bill now going to be the target, Pilates Expert being able to pick up Brand 1v1, Cryo in a lot of trouble right here, and the slow, steady damage from Krillian is winning this fight. The, the attack speed slow, also doing great work. TV Dog is going to die just for the last Acid Hunter as he gets out of there. Karthus now back up and putting down damage on Call Me Taste, who's going to die next. And Major Ursa is probably going to fall back. Red does have the top turret. Singed is defending the bottom one. And Singed not in that much trouble right now down bottom. He does have the ultimate up, so if he needs to pop Insanity Potion to help clear these minions and tank a little bit better, they will retain this 3-cap. Meanwhile, Karthus actually coming up behind Teemo, and the Garrison coming up to stop him. Uh, Golly just doing 1v1, but big damage coming out from that. Man, each lay waste from Duranithor, even with the Rileys onto um, the Teemo, is doing about, I would say, about an eighth of his health, maybe a seventh of his health. And so just a few of those is all it's going to take to win that. Yeah, it does a significant portion uh, with each hit because Karthus is just going AP, AP, AP with no survivability relying instead on his very tanky teammates in Malphite and Shen to keep people controlled and in the range where he can actually apply that damage. Now Cairo going in right there. Karthus is on the other side of the map, so the big damage dealer isn't here. So Krillian's got to do a lot of work here. Karthus got to throw down that R, which does a lot of damage to the entire team. They managed to stand through it pretty well. Now with the tanks down, Krillian, I don't think he's got a lot of way that he can go here. Shen coming in with the revive and the ultimate to stay up here and defend a little bit longer, but all he's done oh. is keep the tower neutral. He didn't hold it, he just delayed it, now his revive is down, and his stand united is down, and he really didn't gain anything out of that because Karthus was too far away to get there in time to capitalize. Yeah, I think it was a big mistake trying to focus down Cryo, that even though Cryo was low, his abilities, the Randuin, um, and the fact that he gets his own lifesteal from his safeguard was a bad idea and, and Brand still doing a lot of damage. Blackfire Torch now, Ch Chalice, Sork Shoes, Duranithor trying to go in 1v1 on, on Major Ursa, but Ram is coming up from behind with that Powerball and Taunt to make the easy 2v1 and getting that exchange for the, the uh, blue team here. Uh, Malphite getting the speed trying. Looks like he might come down bottom. No, he's going to stay up top, possibly do some defending. Um, and maybe push, push a big minion wave and hopefully get that windmill back to them. And being caught out like that, kind of wandering away from your tanks when you're as dependent on them as Karthus would be in this situation, is, I don't know, it's it's a really risky maneuver, and unfortunately it did not pay off for him right there. And if Bill's going to take a turret shot, he doesn't care, he had a shield up while that was going on. In the middle of the map, though, an ultimate from Malphite catches Cairo and Call Me Taste, while he and Singe try and take them down. They are able to get Cairo, though, but Amumu's still living and living over here. Singe is going to give him the fling, send him back over to Malphite. Feed me dogs routing around the other side of the terrain right there. Has used the tremors to just start getting that chip damage in. Call Me Taste managed to kite them back to the tower. If they fight under that, there's going to be the defender's advantage for them there. Uh, the defensive garrison does get thrown down, saying, well, Karthus is up here now, and I have a lot of armor, so I need to use this garrison to try and slow them down, because he just can't withstand what Karthus is, is there to do. Ooh, Karthus dropping really fast to Cryo there, popping the random, and Claudia Expert is out of mana, and going to go down to the Karthus, who's actually putting a lot of damage on the Cryo in return, because they're fighting a little too close to those lay wastes. That garrison actually stopping them from taking the windmill. I think without that, they would have been able to cap it and defend it, to the uh, 2v1 of Cryo, but without the tower's help, 
They did not have enough damage to take him down. Violated Mushrooms coming up now on Singe. They're going to hang out in the bush. They really need to get their synergy of their team going. They had a, they were doing a great job with the Unstoppable Force and the Shen Taunt coming across their team and keeping that Defile damage really high amongst their the tanky blue team, but it seems like they're kind of filing in one by one. Karthus isn't with his tanks. His tanks aren't with Karthus. And once again, Pilates Expert kind of getting caught out here, taking a lot of extra damage. Mumu coming up from behind on Calmly Taste, but he's not going to go for the kill. They're happy with the three cap. They do know that Teemo's down bottom defending 2v1 because Duranthor decided to switch to bottom and try his luck versus the Teemo. And Sin's heading down there as well, so it's a three-man dive in the bottom lane. Cairo smells what the enemy team is cooking, and he heads down that way as well to try and help defend this. The defensive garrison is thrown down the tower. Amumu being brought down to assist as well there. And he knows who he wants to control. He wants to try and get, uh, oh, it looked like he was going for Karthus, but instead he turns around to try and control the tanks instead. Cairo dives straight in for Karthus, safeguards right out of the defile. Good play right there by Cairo, but the Karthus ultimate is going to finish him off, unfortunately. Violated Mushroom is actually, might have a good chance down bottom. Meanwhile, top Pyroclasm coming out. Pilates Expert going down to it. Krillian getting that Hex. Um, the Malamon Mortis now is actually being popped on him. And he's trying to zone them off from capping that point. Feed me dogs with only a couple hundred HP. And he's going to go down to the last stun from Major Ursa. Um, that burn damage doing work. I mean, just landing one attack, backing up, landing one attack, just whittling down. That Urgot, who I thought had the advantage in that 1v1. And that percent damage is extremely helpful in situations like this. When you're up against an extremely tanky and durable team like this one is, seeing Malphite, Singe, Shen, and Urgot as well here, that's going to help out immensely because the fights drag on for so long. And Golly, I don't think there's any way out but back to the summoner platform for him. But the three-man dive down there, got the fling, got the suppress, and everything bad happened to him once. But now the suppress is down can't really uh, manage a Mumu with that, uh, so they're going to have to rely on just pure damage right there, and they go for Major Ursa first, knowing how squishy he is before turning their attention to Call Me Taste, but all Call Me Taste has to do is kind of hang around down here on this tower and delay. Bandit Bill is going to stand united just across the street right there, providing that extra shield, and Ram is going to come in, and now sort of the shift has changed, the graveyard shift is in effect now, a Mumu, you can go home, no, you, okay, he's putting in the overtime work in the bottom lane, locks him down. Oh, the mushroom! Everyone yeah, feels two bad kills coming down that. bottom. But meanwhile, up top, there was a 2v1 with Karthus and Malphite. They took out the Lee Sin and capped the windmill for them. Um, and now they have eight points left. They really need to make sure that they stop this Teemo, that they get this point back in their favor, because they need to try to close that gap and defend this three point cap they have right now. Karthus waiting up in the bushes. I don't think they know he's there, so he's going to get a couple of free low wastes on to Major Ursa if he has the range and there he's going to grab the health relic and he's not actually trying to stop them right now and there is the unstoppable force from Pilates Expert big damage coming out Ranthor going down very quickly but they're fighting on top of his body Pilates Expert just sitting there doing extra damage with that dead Karthus no ultimate coming out and Cryo and Amumu are going to be able to take this turret back Pilates Expert not going to have enough damage to stop them there's the bandage toss and there's the neutralize and cap in their favor. Urgot coming up to hopefully stop that. They did defend the Teemo down bottom while Shen and Ramus tee off in the middle. But I don't think Urgot is going to be able to take this 2v1 with the tower in their favor. I don't and think so. That's going to be the end of the game right here, I think. Blue team doing a great job. He does get Cryo. He might get Call Me Taste with the Urgot and Karthus ultimate. But it's going to be too little too late as their next explodes. If Shen had not done that really short range stand United earlier on, I feel like he would have been able to employ it there to go up and help out Malphite and defend long enough for Urgot to get into the fight and drag it out a little bit more. But unfortunately, things did not go that way, and League of Newbies is going to advance on to the round of eight.